Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can customize the backgrounds of the publication pages themselves using the various fill effect formatting that can also be applied to shapes and pictures. You can click the background button in the page background button group on the page design tab within the ribbon. And this will display a drop down menu of default page background choices. You can click on any of these choices to apply it to your currently selected page as a background. You can also click the No Background choice in this drop-down menu to remove a page background that you've applied to a page. If you want to create a custom page background, select the More Backgrounds command. This will open up the Fill Effects dialog box. You can use the Fill Effects dialog box to fill the background of the page with a custom design of your choosing. To apply a gradient background, click the Gradient tab. You can then select whether you want one color, two colors, or a preset gradient. If you select the one color option, then use the adjacent color one drop down to select a color. You can then use the slider below the color to mix it with either black or white. You can also select the two colors option, and then select two colors. If you select the preset option, then choose the name of the preset gradient to use from the preset colors drop down. Next, in the shading style section, choose the option button for the style of gradient you prefer. For each selection you make, you will see two to four variations of that style shown in the variant section. You can then click on a specific variation that you prefer. To then apply the selected gradient, click the OK button. To apply a texture background to a page, click the Texture tab in this dialog box. Then, select the desired texture to use from the texture list. You can then click the OK button to apply the selected texture as a tiled background to your page. To apply a patterned page background, click the Pattern tab. You can then select two colors to use for the pattern from the foreground and background color dropdowns. Then, click on a pattern in the Pattern section. To apply the selected pattern, click the OK button. You could also select a picture from your computer to use as a tiled page background. To do this, click the Picture tab in this dialog box. Then click the Select Picture button to open up the Insert Picture dialog box. Choose a picture to use from the Insert Picture dialog box and then click the Insert button to return to the Picture tab. You can then click the OK button to apply the selected image as a tiled background to your page. If you wish to apply a color tint as a page background, click the Tint tab in the Fill Effects dialog box. Then use the Base Color drop-down to select the desired base color to use. You can then select the desired tint of the color to apply by selecting one from the tint or shade list. You can then click the OK button to apply the selected tint as a page background. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.